In this video, I want to talk about artificial intelligence. We'll explore how generative AI isn't just a buzzword. It can be a game changer also in the hospitality industry, enhancing both guest experiences and improving operational efficiency. As you might have guessed, this intro is written in collaboration between me and ChatGPT. Hello and welcome to another Hotel Tech video. I'm Alicia from Hotel Spider, and if you're looking to get your hotel tech-related questions answered, you're in the right place. On this channel, we share our know-how about hotel tech with you. Did you notice that the first 30 seconds of this video were AI generated? We'll sprinkle some more AI generated content all through this video. Can you spot them all? I'm really curious to know. Why don't you drop a comment down below and let me know how many AI generated pieces of content you were able to spot. Is this AI generated? Artificial intelligence or AI for short is one of the big buzzwords at the moment ever since 2023. The media hype and the attention has been really strongly driven by the publication of ChatGPT. One of the first AI based chat tools that were publicly available and free to use for anyone. And that was based on the new large language model technology. Since then, a lot of half truths have been communicated and a lot of marketing hype generated around AI. And I really don't want to add to that with this video. Instead, I want to investigate specific tools and applications that you can use for your hotel. Generative AI tools that you can sign up for today and start working with tomorrow. Let's clarify one thing right here in the beginning. I'm not an AI expert. I will not be able to explain to you exactly how the probability math behind it all works. I'm a hotel techie and I'm interested and fascinated by the technology and I've gained some insights and know-how just by using different tools and working with them. If you want to hear from the experts, I can really highly recommend the Freakonomics podcast. They created a mini series about AI and do an amazing job at explaining a lot of the details. Or if you want to understand more of the challenges and the dangers that AI poses and some of the approaches we might be able to take, I can highly recommend the video called The AI Dilemma, as well as the podcast Your Undivided Attention. Both of them are created by the Center of Humane Technology and I'll put the links down below in the description. Now that we have that out of the way, Let's go cover quickly some of the basics and then go into very specific use cases for hotels. AI has been around for a while. It's used to just be called mostly machine learning and we've been using the technology for a while also in the hospitality industry. OTAs, but also meta search platforms use machine learning to rank your hotel on their pages. But also revenue management systems have been using the same technology to optimize your prices. The big shift that happened recently is the new technology of large language models that allows AI to become much better at generating content. Before, machine learning was often used to curate content that was generated by humans. These large language models have become very powerful at generating content themselves. They do that based on probability calculation, so it's not magic, it's just math and probability. And in that way, they're able to generate text, image, video, audio content based on a big variety of different inputs. Some of the most amazing applications of this technology is necessarily in hotels today. I'm really fascinated by the capabilities we have today to use brain waves to create images, but also speech. This allows us to interpret dreams and see dreams of other people, but also gives back speech to people that have lost it. I was thinking about running to the store. What time will you be home? In about an hour. Do not make me laugh. <laughs> On the other hand, I see the application of artificial intelligence to decode animal communication. This is also very fascinating and maybe giving us the hope that one day we'll be able to communicate with other species. In what was the context of the interaction? Okay, so the machine is processing and this was an interaction about food. These are fascinating ways to use the technology, but also in the hospitality, they are very interesting applications. So let's go look into some specific use cases. Large language models have become extremely good at communicating in a natural way with humans. 
This opens a lot of doors and allows for new tools that help hotels to reduce workload, but also lets them increase the availability of services. Two entrepreneurs from Berlin are developing an AI-based phone solution called Plainview AI, and they were kind enough to share the phone number with me and let me test. And it's really fascinating what the technology can do and how you can already today cover 24-7, 365 on the phone with an AI agent, letting guests ask questions and reserve rooms. But let's check it out together. Hi there. I'm the digital receptionist for the Plainview Hotel in Berlin. How can I help you today? Hi, my name is Alicia and I would really like to get some more information about the hotel. Hi, Alicia. I'd be happy to help. What would you like to know about the hotel? Can you tell me, does the hotel have uh, parking available? Yes, Alicia, the Plainview Hotel does have parking available for guests. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Do you also offer charging options for electric cars at the parking? Yes, we do offer charging stations for electric cars in our parking area. Anything else I can help you with? No, that's good. I would love to make a booking for the 20th to the 22nd of August. Great. What type of room would you like to book and how many adults will be staying? It's for two adults and just a normal normal double room will work fine. Checking availability for a double room from August 20th to August 22nd. The technology is really very impressive to me, especially considering that the alternative in this scenario is often that the guest doesn't reach you at all or has to, has to wait for a very long time on the phone for certain information. I think it can bring huge advantages and with the large language models, it's gonna get much easier to, first of all, get all your information, but also they're getting much better at handing over in case something doesn't work as expected. The same, of course, also works in text format and as a chatbot. Chatbots are nothing new and we've used them for a while, but with the new large language models, they have become infinitely better and easier to use. Now let's go look at a specific example from the Apart Hotel Adelboden and the provider Dialog Shift and see how it works. The chatbot has really become much better at understanding us, but also understanding the context and compensating maybe for mistakes we make in the communication. On the other hand, also the setup process has become much easier. In the past, it was a lengthy training process and you had to adapt the system a lot. Today, it's really a question of making all publicly available information accessible for the systems it reads it and in a couple of minutes will be available to help your guests. And all of that in a big variety of different languages that it can manage at a very high level. AI inevitably like any other system will run into limitations, but I'm really impressed how smooth and easy it has become in managing these situations in a natural way and handing it over to a human. Just like the example of the phone and the chatbot, you can use the same technology, but output video or an animation. The company Plural offers an avatar version of the chatbot that you can either add to your website so it can answer questions of visitors, but you can also use it as a concierge service in your guest's room. Really the big difference is on how you interact with it. You can speak to the avatar and it will react in a much more natural and human way than text will. These were three really specific examples of how you can use generative AI today to improve your guest communication. Now, keep in mind, the technology is as bad as it will ever be today. So it is evolving very, very quickly. And even if you're not convinced 100% today, imagine what it will look like tomorrow. One of the best examples, I think, to see this evolution of the technology is video. AI generated videos have really jumped ginormous leaps over the last couple of months. Let me show you a couple of examples to demonstrate this. Here you see a video from the prompt was Will Smith eating spaghetti generated by AI in early 2023. And then you have different prompt and video examples from the newest model from OpenAI called Zora. It's a dedicated video generation engine and you see the difference. It's really amazing the change that you see just in a couple of months. But let's come back to our hotel examples. How is this relevant? I think the use case I see today is using text to video tools in staff training. The hotel industry by nature is very international and this frequently leads to staff members not necessarily speaking the local language 
perfectly. To bridge that gap, AI can help us by providing videos and instructions in their native language. Using a tool like HeyGen, for example, allows us to quickly and easily create a video avatar. Each department head could create an avatar and then use this video format to create step-by-step -step guides based on their standard operating procedures to help staff understand what they have to do and how it works. Again, also in this scenario can really benefit from the amazing language skills that these AI tools have. And you can go from a text to translation to a spoken video very quickly and easily. Here is how you can use text to video AI tool to generate an instructional video for your staff. Voici comment vous pouvez utiliser l'outil de conversion de texte en vidéo pour générer une vidéo d'instruction pour votre personnel. So können Sie mit dem AI-Tool Text zu Video ein Lehrvideo für Ihre Mitarbeiter erstellen in wenigen Minuten. Using some creativity and pushing the tools, I really think there's many possibilities how you can use them, how you can simplify video production and help your staff learn better and faster. Next to the very useful applications when it comes to guest communications, but also staff training, you can also use generative AI to create actually good content if you know how. AI tools like ChatGPT or Gemini are really amazing ideation partners. They can help you think out of the box and for any topic you throw at them, they'll have a huge amount of ideas. It's really important to learn how to successfully talk to them, what the right prompts are, but also it's important to get into a conversation. And in a few minutes, you can get a huge amount of ideas, but then it's up to you to take these, look into them and develop them further. Here is our last blog post. Can you please make five suggestions for social media posts for Facebook that would attract hotel guests to come and read the blog? That could be one approach, for example. Remember, it's really the combination of AI and human that brings you to the best results. So be critical, see what the system gives you, modify it, change it, challenge the AI, and don't just take the first thing it spits out and post it, be critical. These AI tools are really amazing at working with large amount of data. And the latest versions of ChatGPT, for example, can also access live information online. So why not use the tool to analyze your reviews? Ask it to look at your booking, Google reviews or wherever they are. And then get a sentiment analysis. What do my guests like? What do they dislike? But also get operational recommendations. What can I improve? But at the same time, you can also use it to answer reviews from your guests and get more variety into the style and answers that you're giving and not being too repetitive with them. Keep in mind that these AI tools are evolving and they're evolving very rapidly. Just last week was the Google I.O. event and they presented a lot of new details and, and functionalities of their Gemini model. Do you remember where you saw my glasses? Yes, I do. Your glasses were on the desk near a red apple. So this video is probably already outdated by the time you watch it. So my recommendation is really start working with these tools and see the evolution in real time. Go sign up for free tools and test and play around with it and also give it to your team to work with. And once you have found a use case that works for you, that saves time, that makes your work better, then I recommend signing up for a paid subscription because then usually you have the last version and all the features and then make it part of your normal workflow. There are a lot of challenges and limitations of AI tools that we have completely ignored in this video from security, data protection, but also accuracy to the challenges and problems with deep fakes and the dwindling trust in our society. These are all really important topics that we have to talk about. But in this video, my goal was really to focus on practical applications today that are relevant for your hotel. Because as so many people say, it's not AI that will take your job, it's smart people working well with AI that might. I hope I was able to show you some interesting hotel examples, get you a little bit more curious and show you the possibilities and also the power of these generative AI tools. My advice, just try it out. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Wait, 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 one moment. Did you count? How much of this video was AI generated? Drop your guess down below in the comments. <laughs>